what we're going to be talking about today is elastic potential energy. Now let's imagine that we have a spring which has already been compressed. So let's say we have some forces which are keeping this uh, spring already compressed, that uh, is being kept from extending. If we were to remove those forces, what will happen is that the spring will extend. Now this means that this spring has the potential to do work. It has the potential to move something and uh, for example it could be used as a mechanical element in a machine. Now how much work can this spring actually do? In order to answer that let's imagine that we have made an experiment. We've already have a graph of the force in newtons against the extension x in meters. Now the work done is the area under the graph because this is a force against extension graph. So we can even write this down so the work done is equal to the area underneath the graph. Now uh, additionally, if you remember from our mechanics lessons, our work done is equal to the change in energy of the system. Well, the elastic potential energy is the, the change of energy in the system in this case. So if we look at the graph, this area over here, let me just uh, visualize this over here. If we were to calculate this area, this will give us the elastic potential energy of, um, of the spring. So we can just say that the energy, I'm just going to call that E, is equal to the area underneath the graph. Because this is a triangle, because the force is directly proportional to, uh, to the extension, uh, the area is going to be a half times the base times the height, which is going to equal to a half Fx, where F is the force applied and X is the extension. However, if we remember as well, the uh, well, Hooke's law says that force is equal to kx, like so. So we can just substitute that into our original expression and we can get another equation for the elastic potential energy, which is going to be a half times kx times x. And we could just write this down as a half x squared. And those are the two formulas for elastic potential energy. Both of those formulas are given in your formula booklet for the exam. Now let's apply what we've just learned to a past paper question. So this is question 7 from the OCR's modeling physics paper from June 2018. We've got one end of the spring is fixed and you apply a force onto the other end. The elastic potential energy of the extended spring is E and we are given that the spring obeys Hooke's law. What is the extension of the spring? This will be a perfect op opportunity for you guys to pause this video and to attempt the question independently. Okay, now let's go through the uh, solution. So the first step is just to identify an equation. We're given the force F, we're given the, um, the energy E, and we know that it obeys Hooke's law. So I'm just going to write down the equation that we need to use here on the side, that E is equal to a half F times the extension x and all we need to do really is to rearrange for the extension x so x will just be oops, let's write x properly x will just be 2e divided by f and if we look through the answers this means that the correct answer is c Okay, hey folks, so hopefully elastic potential energy now makes sense. If there are any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. Thank you.